Hi, I'm LB from Meadowlark Log Homes. This is Scott. How you doing? And I've got some video of this house being delivered. I brought the logs up, but I have not been back since the logs were delivered. It's my first look at it. And uh, so I'm here with Scott. Kim is actually working at Meadowlark Log Homes today. She does some uh, work for us. But we came to see this house. And this is a Trout Creek Log Home. A few custom features. My first impression, Scott, is awesome. Look at it that. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. I just finished it up last week. And we are super happy. I'm we had some coffee it. down in the cabin. <clears throat> Scott and Kim actually had Metal Arc build them a Green Gables, uh, not a Green Gables, a Green Valley Rancher. Uh -huh. That's another video of their house right down here that they live in until this is finished. But wow, I'm. Uh, I'm thinking we should have built this for ourselves. I love this house. Oh, it's beautiful. I really love it. So excited. I, I was not expecting it. I, I don't know. I just, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. I saw some pictures when the guys were building it. They put, kind of post a few photos. Uh -huh. But we came to do a little video and just check things out and have, what's your experience been like so far, Scott? It's been really, really good. The guys are super professional, very meticulous. They really take their time. They do it right and uh, they interact very well with us. And uh, any questions we had, they immediately answered or any problems that came up, they took care of. It was a really good experience, super experience. So our guys laid the subfloor, some uh, some framing in the, in the crawl space and the subfloor porch decks, and then set the logs, roof up, uh, windows in, Mm -hmm. but not the shingles that was done by some other company but correct. we did everything but the shingles correct correct yep everything was done uh plywood and then the uh waterproof membrane and everything put on and then the uh, uh the guy came like a few days later for shingles did that they knocked it out in a day it really good had a big crew yeah yeah so let's uh, let's have a look uh sure. inside outside yep so we had this front porch um we had some barnwood doors made a uh, local guy here in Kalispell, they're uh, handmade from uh, some older older barn wood, which is really nice. Um, looking for some hardware now to put on here. And then we can go on in. That is a beautiful door. Oh yeah. my goodness, look at that. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. We're really happy. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then in here. And we've got the, the same doors on the, the dump doors going out to the porch. And this is the break room slash kitchen. So there's a wall that will go between the uh, bedroom, uh, bathrooms, uh, closets, and the kitchen. So the kitchen will be right here. Okay. This house could be taken and downsized, upsized. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of some lots we've got, some mountain lots, where this could be, you know, drastically downsized, but the same, same layout. Same footprint. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing a lot of these uh, trout creeks this year because uh -huh. if you look around, it's just really laid out nice. It's laid out perfectly, we think. You got master bedroom over here. If you want to come in, we can come in. It's really, really big. We actually put this back wall out to the end and added a, about three more feet to the back. So That's made, smart. And it stretched it out a little bit more. Nice big master bedroom. Yep. I think we added another window. Uh, Are these the Sierra Pacific wood windows? Those are Marvins. Oh, Marvins. Um, okay. I'm not sure what type of Marvin they are, but they're sliders. Looks like the standard uh, clad Marvin, yep. which is a wood frame. Wood frame and then uh, aluminum outside. They're a real good window. They're similar to the Sierra Pacific uh -huh. uh, type of, you have wood on the inside and, yep. and weatherproof uh, mm -hmm. aluminum on the outside. Yeah, <clears throat> yep. so Kimmy and I did the, the lights um, and the electrical up here right before they put the, uh, the plywood on the top. Um, right before they sprayed, sprayed with the funnel too. So we did all that ourselves. And if you come in here, we got the, this will be the closet 
This will be bathroom and then shower over here. We added these additional uh, beams as well in the top there. Straighten it up a little bit. So the reason for this log, <clears throat> we call that a loft joist, mm -hmm. to be flat on the bottom is so that this is a, a the beginning of a frame wall that we cut the slot in with the settling slot for the frame wall. Yep. The frame wall goes underneath the, this and then you can trim up against the flat yep. is the reason yep. for these joists to be flat. Right, and that'll show you what it looks like. So it's not permanently attached to the bottom of the log it's, and it floats. So as the log comes down, it allows the, the gap to, to close at the top of the frame. And wall. this screw can, can uh, allow this log to settle down, Correct. closing that gap off yeah. with time yeah. and there's a flat surface to put the trim up against the right. the flat beam mm -hmm. yeah. so this is considered a single level home yeah. a rancher but in the case of this trout creek we've developed this back area mm -hmm. what we're under right now with a little bit of a loft because it makes sense to have this uh, flat for the bathrooms yeah a little bit of storage or a bedroom upstairs. So it's not really a true single level, but are you doing a ladder or a stair up there? We're doing stairs right here. Um, okay. We haven't cut yet. Uh, so we're proposing steps right here with a landing and then another set of steps going up. And this yeah. opening, right? That, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so that would be Kimmy's office up top. And we'll do a knee wall in front of it, a little uh, three foot knee wall. And that'll just be a frame stair yeah. because log stairs are quite expensive and you don't really see them here. They'll be hidden, like like Scott said, stairs go up to a landing, up to that, and this will be all cut out mm -hmm. there to get up to the loft. So, office, and there's a window in the back, is that? Yep. But it's about, about seven feet clearance to the ridge, maybe? Yeah, I can stand up in it at the, at the very top. I have to bend over a little bit in the, on the sides there, but it's primarily just an office space. Probably. Yeah, so the middle, like Scott said, there's there's some room, like maybe seven feet between and enough for a desk or even a small bedroom mm -hmm. if you needed to. So that's a nice little area, but the whole entire house isn't tall, isn't sing isn't two story, just that part. Right. Still keeps everything kind of a uh, single level, just beautiful layout. Yeah. Now let's take a look at this. You got the stove up there. Yep, yeah, we put the stove in a couple of weeks ago. Um, we got the, the windows on order. We've got plastic in there right now, but uh, just keep the keep the weather out. Those windows are not here yet. So some people put the, the fireplace like in this corner, that corner, you can do that. It's, it's actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Um, the black pipe there, but the, the option is for the, the uh, stove, stove to be in either corner. Mm -hmm. Some people put this completely full of glass in the front. Mm -hmm. Others like this have a, just two windows. Some have a door going out to a porch. But uh, so those are all configurations you can adjust. Mm -hmm. Let's look at this bedroom over here. Okay. So is this a closet or a bathroom? That is a closet. This okay. It's going to be a storage room. Nice big closet. Mm -hmm. And I've also got a storage area right there. Got the uh, crawl space storage crawl space back there. Storage, yeah. It's about five foot height underneath. It's really nice. So that's a nice. Nice place to have the crawl space uh, access right in this big closet. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice and tall. This is yeah. very roomy. Yeah. Another room in here. This is the spare bedroom or office, however we set it up. Have some bookcases and things like that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. We built one of these in Colorado this summer. Interestingly, your house, Scott's house and Kim's house, and the one in Colorado were being built on the Metal Ark facility side by side at the same time. They were oh, yeah. almost identical. I know. I remember seeing it because I thought it was mine. When the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, that's our, that's our house. Is it? No, that's another one. I, was like, wow. I can't get over these doors. Yeah. we got to have the name of this person in our contacts at the that's office right. yeah. so he can build doors for our customers. He makes these doors? Yeah. This is incredible. Yeah. He can do anything you want. Um, we had it the glass. Uh, you can get them with glass, without glass, however you want it. And it's double pane. Can you tell me what this door costs? We won't hold this to this gentleman because price is... 980 per door. 980 for each door. Yeah, and he did the casing as well, which also has the barn wood on it. And this is 2022, so in a couple of years from now, this price is probably a lot higher, but 2022, $980 for that door and that door. 
frame including a you know, pre-frame pre-hung with this this frame yeah this is just really well done yeah, really we need to get that guy's name in our yeah, office and I, I can almost guarantee we're gonna be having a demand for these doors yeah and, and then you guys trimmed it out but the uh ten, or not ten, or ten, douglas fur th thank you douglas fur on there with the slip slip trim at the top yeah so this is a douglas fur rough sawn that we put on for the trim so we install the door and uh trim it with this with this douglas fur this is a slip trim this slips down and there's foam and a settling gap like inside you can see the foam right here uh that's in there it's specifically it's designed for log homes to be put on top of the doors and windows for compression foam the logs settle down but of course the door doesn't that gap will go down to about a half inch thick when the house is done settling yep all the windows have the same thing, the foam on top. And then later when they get the varnish done inside, mm -hmm. you go and put the, the trim, pre-stained, pre-varnished trim yeah. is the last thing you do after it's varnished. Mm -hmm. You want to install that on the face of the doors and windows. Yeah. We used to always do that for customers. We'd put the trim on. Mm -hmm. We finally realized it's the wrong <laughs> thing to do because you want to get the house varnished. You got these, these logs cleaned up and varnished. Mm -hmm sealed chinked all that then the last thing you cover this with trim and the trim a lot of times will match like a stain that matches the trim going around like the, the baseboard of your frame walls you want that whole trim to match this and some people use like this douglas fir trim the same trim for the doors but a lot of times they will use a a stained dark stained trim so we don't want to be putting that on now it's the wrong thing to do then you can have the same matching trim above all those windows on those windows and stuff so that's kind of the last you do the floors the finished floors and the trim kind of the last thing right. okay. now there's a good view of that truss yeah. which we love in the middle of this room to carry the span that truss actually carries the log purlins mm -hmm. and they splice they meet on that truss and it carries the entire roof system so the whole house except for the area back here is all great room cathedral vaulted to the ceiling. It's very tall. All the bedrooms are vaulted. Mm -hmm. The guest bedroom, the master bedroom, living area, kitchen in here, dining, all vaulted. That's what we like because it really makes it spacious. It really opens everything up. You have a, a lower ceiling, it just it, uh, closes it off. This really opens it up with the cathedral style ceiling. Beautiful. What a view out there. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look around the outside, Scott. Yeah, sure. We'll go up this side. Sure. This is our porch, the big porch. The other one had the little mudroom on it. On your house, we use a two by eight floor. Um, you like that? Two by eight? Love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. We're using... Really um, <clears throat> The uh, two by eight or the five quarter now for floors, mm -hmm. which is a like a inch and quarter by six six inch floor. Mm -hmm. uh, they bought you know, both made of you know Douglas fir that reddish wood. Yeah, it's really nice. On on the this house we put the settling jacks underneath underneath all the posts because the house will settle, and over here it's connected, so this has to be lowered as the house settles. And when the house is done settling in a couple of years, you can cover this off with a copper ring around it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a, uh, have a look around the outside here. Yeah. We have a lot of interest in the Trout Creek uh -huh. uh, model. Really? It's like this year, we've probably had almost more inquiries on the bigger houses mm -hmm. for the Trout Creek than anything else. Okay. We didn't do the front deck. Um, the Trap Creek normally comes with the deck on the front, but we mm -hmm. decided not to. We just did the porches on the side. Lots of options available that way. Mm -hmm. And this property is a legacy property because you've got other parcels for your children. Correct. Yeah, we divided the uh, acreage up into 22 acre lots for our kids. And, uh, got them in their names as well. So there's four or five of them. Uh, five pieces. Yeah. Five five kids. Yep. 
Five kids. Mm -hmm. That's that's awesome. Mm -hmm. A good man or a good woman leaves a inheritance for his children and children's children. Yeah, trying to do that. Scripture says. That's right. Wow, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm more impressed than I. Th I just wasn't really thinking before I came, but I'm mm -hmm. really happy with what I see. Uh, even though there's still you know a lot of work to do, staining, chinking, mm -hmm. finishing, and you'll have a lot of work ahead of you, but. Yeah. It'll be good. It's fun to do this kind of stuff. The hard part's done, and now we get to work on the details and slowly do it. Backfill with gravel, those kind of things. What, what does that cat think about it? He likes it. He's already uh, come in and blessed it a couple times. <laughs> He's a mean-looking he little pet here. Yeah. Kind of a skinny, tall cat. Can I pet you? Some days. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, he is a little bit mean. He's Siamese. Uh, he's okay though. Yep. Come here, Blackjack. He's hissing at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Blackjack. He's going around this side. Whoa, <laughs> cat. Friendly and mean at the same time. Yeah. <clears throat> the outside, really, all you got to do is sand off the, the numbers in the corners. Yeah. And then power wash, and the outside is ready for stain. We we always sand this off nicely when we do the window cutouts and sand that. So that's ready to go. So just the, the corner numbers mm -hmm. to sand, and then power wash really good. Yep. And we got that biodegradable cleaner that you can use, uh -huh. the pressure washer. Clean and bright, I think it's called. Clean and bright, and then yep. wash it off. And, yep. and uh, I don't know if you figure out what finish you're going to be using or Probably not. Just clear. I yep. don't, I, we wanted to keep it as light as possible. Yep. Yeah. Let's have a look around the front here. Mm -hmm. We really like this front starburst too, over the uh, porch. Keeps the snow off of the off the steps. Speaking of snow, we're a few weeks or a month away. Probably get some flurries, I reckon. Yeah, we'll be long. I'm getting a little nippy. It froze this morning. Kind of the. Well, it was like 28 degrees, but yep. it didn't kill the tomatoes yet. They're still out there still red, so any day, any day we're going to be just going to kill all our tomato plants. We got a bunch of them out there, uh -huh. flowers and tomatoes. and. Okay. But it's getting a little bit nippy yep. in the mornings. Yeah. During the day, it's beautiful right now. It gets 60s and 70s. It's gorgeous. What are we, we, we can have from November? Mm -hmm. I forget the date, but like late October. I can't remember dates unless I look at my phone. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm right there with you. I think are we both a little bit ADD, you think? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Abby, we're super happy. Couldn't be happier with the, with the way everything turned out. Well, we're really blessed to have Scott and Kim in our life because Kim's helping the team at Meadowlark on different issues and the licensing and compliance issues with the or the things DOT. to look at you know with everything from dot mm -hmm. to uh permitting and uh, licensing for different states and stuff mm -hmm. there's so many rules and regulations state to state yep so every time we travel we got to get all that stuff uh make sure everything's in order and she's helping us with all that stuff so That's good. she's a good girl yeah she kim's works. a great great gal to help us out with those kind of things mm -hmm. Well, this is looking great. We'll be back a lot because they do serve really good coffee here. <laughs> and uh, we come back anytime for coffee. Anybody right, can come over. <laughs> right down there is the, the Green uh, Valley Rancher yep. that I just had coffee in with Scott. Yep. And uh, like I said, there's another video I posted mm -hmm. some time ago of the cabin. Mm -hmm. We'll be back for more video. So now I got to take the machine home. We got a, a man lift and a little telehandler forklift to, to haul home. I'll get the telehandler. I got to drive it over to Troy. Okay. Because we're starting a house there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I'll come back tomorrow and get the man lift. Okay. And uh, that was pretty pretty nice for them to use that, wasn't it? The man lift? It was. Get up on top okay. of the roof. And, you can put the uh, plywood up with it and do all kinds of stuff. Right? Yeah, with the man lift, they can get in that cage and they can get all, get all this, this stuff done. That's what we used to uh, do the plastic with, with the man lift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the telehandler. The G is what we use for the plywood, yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. 
Well, it's looking good. I guess I'll sign off and see everyone later.